Members, you are all welcome. So I, Christine Ayu, being retained, passed one to the Parliamentary Elections Act 2005, declare Ariko Herbert Edmond Okoro duly nominated as candidate to contest for election as Member of Parliament for Soroti City East Division constituency in Soroti City. Congratulations. On behalf of the National Resistance Movement and on behalf of the Chairman of the Mighty Revolutionary Party, General Yoel Kakuta Museveni, our party chairman, I am pleased to present to you our candidate for Soroti City East constituency by election the year of our Lord 2022, Honorable Herbert Ar Edmund Ariko. I want to invite him to address the press and I want to assure you this is going to be a fundamental change in the politics of Soroti City where the national resistance movement is going to regain leadership in this mighty city in which we are going to deliver in our own key four-point ideological stand. Patriotism, Pan-Africanism, social economic transformation and democracy. I want to assure you that we have a number of packages which have not been unpacked in this city in our manifesto because of the leadership. Now that we have a formidable candidate, and I want to assure you we are going to win this election decisively, I present to you Honorable Herbert Edmond Ariko to address you. Maybe Papa Chairman, I tell you the Not now. Honorable. Countrymen and countrymen, good afternoon. My name is Herbert Edmund Ariko. I am candidate of the National Resistance Movement in the Soroti City East constituency by election. This afternoon, I would like to thank God and my party for the completion of the first phase of this exercise in which I've been nominated candidate. Ladies and gentlemen, it is the desire it is the aspiration of the National Resistance Movement to see that there is equitable development, there is social economic transformation, and that the people of Soroti, just like any other part of Uganda, will enjoy equitable development. It's our aspiration that we have a leader that is sensitive, responsive, and compassionate to the needs of the people. The politics of Soroti should not only be hinged on propaganda and lies. We must get out of the politics of anguish. We must work proactively, position ourselves, and lobby for the several government interventions to transform the lives of the people. As a leader in Soroti City, one of the key issues on my agenda is to ensure that the NRM manifesto is fully implemented 
and that the people of Soroti become part and parcel of the Ugandans that enjoy 